The experts thought that a woman who never had a serious boyfriend is a certified party girl. And who had never been in love before, by her own admission. Will make a good wife. They're getting ready to burn this ish down. And in speaking of burning, uh, I think the matchmakers burned one while they were considering these two as potential matches. While they were in Colorado. Welcome to Cliff Alert. Today, we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 17, episode number one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please click that notification button so you know when we upload new content. And please send us your comments. And we thank and appreciate you for your support. You so, come up with some interesting stuff, don't so, they? So Man. let's get into this. Okay. Emily... And Brennan. Brennan. Emily is 29 years old and Brennan is 28, I believe. She's an account executive professionally. Yeah, but she likes to party. Oh, she's the party girl. Yes. By her own admission. And she did admit that she's been dating a lot of trashy men. And uh, I just... No, she didn't say that. She said that she had had a lot of trashy experiences. Well, experiences... With experience, trashy experience comes trashy men. She has been having some trashy experiences, so yeah. the men she has been attracting have been trashy as well. Mm -hmm. So there it is. That's it. I didn't make this up. That's what came out of her mouth. I'm glad you broke it down for the for the people's like. Oh, that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I was confused. She's a party girl, yet she never had a serious boyfriend. What is that all about? I don't know, but at the same time, I could only speculate or imagine that uh, she's gotten, uh, you know, used to being a socialite, but hasn't met anybody serious because of the settings in which she's meeting these people. No, I think she's been attracting brothers who like low lying fruit. Guys who like low lying fruit only want a, a warm place to put it. Well, here's the thing, though. So, Here, here's the thing, though. I want you to think of it like a guy for a moment, okay? If you admit that you and acknowledge that you are a party girl, that's going to send a certain type of message to guys that she meets at, in the clubs or out in social settings. And what is that message? Okay. She's a party girl. She's probably very sociable and easy to talk to, easy to uh, break that conversation window with, and you know, have a discussion and all that. But the bottom line is, I'm trying to smash, and I'm trying to say whatever I can to to do that. Well, we we because just, she's a party girl, we just, and then we just speculate. Yeah, and then and then and ghost her behind that because that was one of the things that she said was frustrating behind. Yeah, in fact, she said, what "Well, happens? if she gets married on, on this show, the ghosting." Stuff she's been going through with Anne. And she said after three dates, no, it, most guys ghost most her. Most guys ghost her. W wonder why and that is. That may be what you just said. Uh, what I just alluded to or just referenced. Guys, how guys uh, perceive her, never mind whether it's accurate or not, but how guys perceive her. And that's based in part on the vibe that she's given off. So I could see, you know, from both ends, there's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, and as long as she's given out that vibe, and letting, you know, letting this whole notion of being the party girl or the life of the party, you know, impact how she deals with people, that's going to be the case. Well, um, Brandon, on the other hand, he said he, he he's simple. He, um, he eats, he works, he watches TV and Work, then he works he out. Sleeps. And he also works out, too. Don't forget to throw that one in there. That's it. And he wakes up again and repeats the process. Repeat. But you know what, though? Got to give him props, though, because he's a New Yorker. Yeah, he said he used to be a little blunt, and mm. it, it wasn't coming across the way he wanted it mm. to, so he had to pull it all the way back. Yeah, and he also is coming into this whole process uh, with, uh, I guess, a, an idea or philosophy based on his experience with his parents. His parents have been married for, what, 30 plus years or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And that he doesn't seem uh, to believe that divorce is an option. Even though he's going about this process in a totally unique and different way. and right. untraditional in an untraditional fashion right. as it relates to his, you know, forever wife. 
You know? But I think the the way he kept repeating that divorce is not an option, divorce is not an option, and yet the first time he's laying eyes on his wife is at the altar. I don't think he's dealing with stuff realistically here. No, I think you it's, know what it, I mean. I feel I feel like there's a disconnect. You think there. that's what he's hoping happens? Well, what he's hoping for and what is are two different things. No question about it, priest. So I'm um, I'm not sure if he has a full grasp. His friends, uh, one of them, I think it was a Walker because he met with his boys to tell them that mm -hmm. he was he was selected for the show and he was getting married in two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, they said, "Well, bro, I've never seen you vulnerable, and I think that's part of being married." Mm -hmm. And how he's going to deal with that. Yes. Yeah. So I'm not sure how much um, Brennan is going to vibe with a party girl. He seems serious. Mm -hmm. And his parents, it seemed like they are really uh, strict. He said they love him and really very protective of him. Yes. And uh, his his father didn't seem like he was doing the right thing. Yeah, I think that that is probably something that is weighing on Brennan's mind uh, because he seems like he's very, uh, very impacted by his father's opinion. Yeah, family is important to him as well, mm -hmm. and he wants her to be able to vibe with his parents who are Russian. Yes. And uh, culturally, it's a different thing altogether. Yeah, yeah, because he expressed it. Uh, concern about that, if you will, uh, yeah. about uh, if she's American, how you know their relationship is going to be, knowing that his parents were Russian. Yeah, because I mean, even we had that issue in our marriage. Right. The cultural differences. Right. About a Caribbean woman and an American man. We did. We did. We had to deal with that. Ex but, absolutely. But that's that's a thing too. People do things differently. Right. So. And you got to be open to a new experience. Yes. But Emily, um, she seemed disconnected as well because her friend Lily said, our oh, girl Emily is always more concerned about herself than anybody else. So how is, how is she getting married? I don't know about y'all, but that sounds like she's selling tapes. We got to keep our eye on Lily. And then Unfiltered. Then her, conscience. her sister, um, you know, when they went dress shopping, she had on a beautiful gown. Her selection okay, was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, on her. Uh -huh. her sister asked her, are you sure you, 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 ready, you, for this you ready for this? And she shined that off like, okay, it was more about the dress she and how this. she looked she in the that. dress than the actual thinking this through yeah. about being married to someone. She just wanted her to take a pause. And really reflect about what she's getting ready to do. Emily likes just avoiding the hard conversation. Yeah, and she, she may be uh, someone who is really interested in the whole idea of concept of being married rather than all of the all, the all death that process it entails. entails. Exactly. The bachelorette party, mm -hmm. our girl. She was on fire. She was on turn up. She was turned up. She was, doing, up. she was doing body shots. Mm. She was lifting her um her limbs up mm -hmm. and they had to block out certain features oh. of her anatomy. Oh, wait a minute. Just to just to keep it PG. But now we understand what they mean, what what all the partying and all the ghosting and all the trifling men she's been dating is all about. Yeah, because she showed her literally she showed her um Uchi? well. You know, you got to grown folk. You, we you, grown folk you now. You got to put a the in front of it. No, you got to put the coochie. Oh, the coochie. Yes. Okay. Oh. Show some respect. Okay. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. But she didn't make it easy for a brother. Because she was turned up. She was toe up from the flow up. She was she was knocking that stuff like, back. Like Snoop said, now now I'm, I'm toe down now. But well, she could say that would that yeah. be right. Yeah, yeah. She 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 was toe down. She was toe down. And damn. on the after party, she was a little embarrassed because she said she didn't recognize that she was so drunk. And I some I think, people normally don't. And they I think they went to another set after the 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 party with. Uh, the participants of the shows after the bachelorette set. Yeah, you know, you when 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 you go to one party, you got another one to hit, mm -hmm. and then you have another one. Then mm -hmm. breakfast at some sort of um 
you know, oh, dive something. Early, yeah, early. And then you had you head home. Mm. So I'm not sure if um Emily is Brennan's uh cup of tea. She may look a certain way, but uh she got a little uh mustard up in there. Yeah, yeah. And I hope he has um some some sweetness to add to it. But she wasn't the only one that was turned up at that party the night before. Hmm? Yeah, well, well Brennan, Brennan, was, Brennan was turned up too now. Yeah, don't think, Brennan don't think was she was by the, herself. With the boys, and he was knocking them back as well. But mm. he wasn't like disrespectful or unusual or what have you. But at the wedding, he, he got up there. He, he looked good. He was clean. Yeah. He was clean. And... Uh, prior to that, he met with his boys. Mm -hmm. They had questions, but basically they kept it to himself. And he kept repeating, as I said earlier, that divorce was not an option. So when he saw, of course, they were both happy with what they saw because they're two good looking people. Yeah. And uh, also, too, I think they had a cutaway shot of, of his parents mm -hmm. who seemed to smile at the, at the side of this, you know, this... Uh, um, wife to be, yeah, because and, she looked good. Yeah, yeah, she did. She looked good in her dress, and you know, um, I guess she was kind of like, I guess, uh, um, uh, 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 maybe the the blonde that he maybe had envisioned, maybe, perhaps, mm -hmm. maybe so. But they made, they said their vows, and then they kissed. So we got through one, and we have three, three more to go. go. Yeah, one of the things that I think we may have um, not really hit upon that much was. What the experts uh, said prior to uh, prior to them actually wedding in, mm -hmm. in the ceremony, I believe it was Pastor Cal who said that uh, he thought that they made a wonderful match, or was it Dr. Pepper? It's it Pastor Cal. Pastor Cal. Okay. He said that um, Emily will be, you know, really supportive of Brennan, and um, I'm not sure if if someone is more concerned about themselves, how supportive they can be to someone else. Well, during one of the confessionals, I guess it was after uh, it was after they had shown uh, pictures of what happened at the, the guy's uh, behavior at the uh, bachelor party. Uh, Brendan uh, said something to the effect that, hey, look, uh, um, like Orion, he's got some skills in the bedroom. Yeah, he said that um, what Every girl he's been with, or maybe it's a couple of girls he's been with, has told him how how great is the best sex uh, he has ever had. But Emily may have a little sum for him that she. I'm not sure if a girl who is a party girl is gonna be Im impressed with uh, what he got going on. Brother, better be careful about what he's about to get into, man. Wifey got some skills that he don't know nothing about because he ain't been out there like she has been, you know, putting a, uh, do you she want me to hit a she, she got, she gonna, she may put a leg up that he don't know anything. Yeah, one about. on the ceiling fan and one around him at the same time. And Your brother may have to put in the work. Yeah, he gonna definitely have to. He, I, I think he may have spoken to soon about yeah. her. He may have some... because everything is subjective. Uh -huh. and, uh, what he think he may be working with may have a little more experience in that region than yeah, because else. he ain't been out there in them streets. Be careful. Is he really serious? He be, because some woman told him that he may be good in bed. He thinks that he's gonna be good in bed with every woman he encounter. Some women may go to sleep on him because the stuff he used uh, with that sister may not be on par with what the other one may be accustomed to. So that information you gotta keep to yourself. He better he better keep that on the go low until he figures out what he's working with, man. Even then he better not say nothing afterwards because at that point in time there's nobody else's business but him and his wife.